Hello everyone, my name is Yulia and welcome back to my channel. And guess what? I did restart my island to try hard mode challenge created by Nintendox. I'm gonna leave the rules up here if you don't know about them and we can talk about them a little more. So there are restarting rules, which means you have to restart your island. You have only one chance to do it. If you decide to reroll your map, you will have a punishment, like a penalty for it, because you have to keep at least one of your starters until you get their photo. But if you reroll the map, you have to keep both of them until you get their photo. And you're only allowed to give a gift once to them. So there are also villager rules, daily rules, design rules, economy rules. Um, a summary is that economy rules really stunt your economy. Design rules is that you must wear what you create yourself. Uh, daily rules is a bunch of tasks you have to complete every single day. And there are just like, yeah, some villager rules about villager hunts and stuff like that. I got really excited about it. I really wanted to try something to challenge myself. Actually, a little disclaimer, I did record this video with my voice, like how I talk when I play. But unfortunately, something happened to the sound and it was just just crappy, just crappy. OK, so I'm doing a voiceover on this one and I will just include a little clips of, you know, my honest reactions to when I see my villagers and stuff like that. If there are some good ones that I can scavenge from there, I will do that. But in the meantime, let's proceed with creating our island and rolling our map right now. So I will just choose my regular name that I use in Animal Crossing. It's Yules. This is how one of my first Canadian friends always calls me uh, because my real name is Yulia, but obviously, uh, you know, it's an Eastern European name, not very usual for Canadians, so she just called me Yules a lot. I thought it was very cute, and so I use it a lot in my games as a little nickname because it's short and sweet, and I liked it. I honestly just love this. I love the start of the game. It just gets me so excited. I know some people hate restarting, but I love restarting. I absolutely love it. Let's create a character now. I, as always, will be blonde. Um, this is a new one, like these eyes, the ones that I use now are my new favorite ones. I think they look so, so cute <laughs> and so weird. And I love this character a lot. I love her t-shirt as well. Too bad I won't be able to use it for too long because one of the rules, as you saw, is that you only can wear what you design. Obviously, like if you design a shirt, that's enough. You can wear pants, shoes, hat, uh, all the like glasses and stuff like that obviously will be bought from Able Sisters, but just for that one, you have to design it, which is such a cool challenge. I have never posted anything in Able Sisters before, ever. So <laughs> I will have to learn how to do it because uh, you have to do it. This is like a communal game and I'm really looking forward to connect to people that are also doing hard mode. And by the way, if you are doing hard mode, let me know. Let's connect. Let's play together. So look at the choice of the maps that I had. I was too stunned to speak. To be honest, in the recording, there's just silence for a long time because these maps are very unusual. I don't think I've ever had such a, a weird selection of maps. The resident services is so close to the beach on three of the maps and on only one that I have there where it's a little bit further that map has both rivers to be like river mouth to be on the, at the south on the south sorry about that so I did not want uh, river mouth to be at the south why is this so difficult to say so I decided to go for a top left one I, I just decided to wing it. Even though it's so close to the beach, my logic was that I will be able to design around it rather than deal with both river mouth being an um, annoying position. And you know, it's a hard mode already. Why not add another layer of it? Like resident services being freaking two feet away from water. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking, but I 
did not want to risk re-rolling at this point. Um, the only thing I thought, if my villagers are going to be Rocket or Moose, then of course I will re-roll. Or if both of them, I will definitely re-roll. But I just wanted to pick a map that I will stick with, doesn't matter um, what. So it was a difficult decision, I'm telling you. In these type of moments, I really wish I was a streamer so I could ask my audience for advice, but I'm not. So I just had to make this difficult choice myself for this one. Um, I think I think I can work with it. I'm still not sure because obviously this is a voiceover. So I already played on this island and you will see how it is. But I think it's going to be fine. I'm not sure. I will have to start using paths to see how it will work but um, I'm hoping I'm hoping as we take this beautiful flyover over my island all I think about I guess I'm a pessimist but what kind of ugly villagers will I have on my island <laughs> and you know what I did not expect who I will have <gasps> are you kidding me these are great! What is it, Pashmina and Lyman? Oh my god, I want to keep them both. No way. I cannot believe my luck. Hi, girl! Oh my god, they're both freaking adorable. They're both adorable. I'm the luckiest person alive. I'm the luckiest person alive. Yes. Let's go. So after the initial shock, I assessed how close my resident services actually is to the airport. It's very close, very close to the beach as well. But I thought, you know what, I can make like a little path there and I can make some communal areas to the sides of the uh, resident services where usually I do them to the front of it. So I think that's going to be fine. I think I will be able to do it, especially if I go for something more like forest core, which I'm not sure because right now I'm kind of thinking maybe I will go with something like urban if I can actually make custom designs. Can I make custom designs? Can I make Sunstead? to be my ultimate dream vaporwave island? I don't know. I'm sorry, my dog is barking at the background. But anyway, I talked to my villagers and I decided to proceed with the quest to grind away my start of the dream hard mode island right now. I want to get my tent as you do. And of course, Tommy was nice enough to give it to me and explain to me that I can also use the map of my weird though island with, a <laughs> with an incredibly unusual map. And you know what? I was grateful because it will help me not to get lost within this unusual area. I went to find the plot to my island. I ran around to see how actually my island looks. Where are my villagers at the moment? What is going on? I saw that there is a little lake there. And you know what? I usually love to start at the lake. If you hear growling, that is my dog, Annie. Annie, stop it. Anyway, I went further. I proceeded and I tried to look for my villagers just to see where they want to be plotted. Because under the rules of the game, you have to allow your villagers to plot the, the to plot the plot to place their own plot where they want it. I just had to stop my dog from doing these unruly things and to proceed with seeing where Lyman and Pashmina were. They were all on one side, so I decided to go with my initial plan to uh, do my plot by the lake because I do love to start near the water. At first, I thought this is a good spot and it wasn't just because there was a tree in there. And I knew that for a while I won't be able to chop it down because I will hold off on purchasing a better tools recipe, the one that lets you actually chop down the tree because I will save my nook miles. 
and I decided against it. I wanted to do it closer to the lake, so that's what I did. Here is where my plot goes. I think, look at this. Isn't that, isn't that perfection? Isn't that a perfection of a starting your new island? I'm so goddamn excited. I can't. Yes, I set up my tent. This is great. So I proceeded further. I went to find Pashmina and Lyman to help them set up their plots. I was kind of really excited that for the first time I'm not choosing the plots of my villagers. I'm just letting them choose. And they actually, I saw already, chose well. Pashmina introduced herself. She's such a cutie. I love the color of her horns. It is so adorable. I briefly had her on my previous island. I never had Lyman before though. So, you know, both of them I absolutely love. She was really cute about it. She says she threw a stick and that's where it landed. That's what she wants her plot to be. So of course I agreed, cause how can I not? It is in the rules of the hard mode. Her tent is actually color of her horns, which is so incredibly sweet. That is amazing. I absolutely loved it. I don't know. I'm just so happy that I got these to for my starter villagers because I was watching uh, Pat at Nintendo Talk and he he got Rocket as one of his starters and I was like no she is my worst freaking nightmare and I got Lyman who I never had before but I heard so many good things about him and I also think he's great I actually never I don't think I ever met him on villager hunts Correct me if I'm wrong, if on any of my villager hunts I met him, I don't remember ever meeting him. I think he's such a cute villager. I never expected him to be a jock. He just seems so sophisticated. I don't know. Not that jocks are not sophisticated, you know what I mean? But usually they're all like, I'm covered in snacks and I want to work out and everything. But he wears this like sensible striped shirt and he's all that kind of, you know, you know, I kind of, I kind of feel like he's, what is his hobby? I, f I should Google that. I should find out more about my villagers. But also it kind of breaks my heart that now I only have to keep one of them until I get their photo. So I will have to choose which one I want to keep until I get their photo. Because if any of the villagers will ask me to move out, I will have to say yes under the rules of the game. And it is already breaking my heart. I don't know how I will do it. Guys, who should I keep? Comment below who should I keep because I honestly do not know. This is very difficult, very difficult for me to decide now, already on my first day on the island. Tom Nook, of course, tried to yell at me when I was going <laughs> just a side of the border of the plaza. Of course, I was just trying in the actual recording. I'm just trying to talk to you to tell you my feelings. But of course, Tom Nook cannot tolerate it. He wants me to start working right away to pick up stuff for him. And he wants me to collect uh, branches and collect some fruit to set up the welcoming party, of course. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to rewind and we'll see you there. Now that I worked so, so hard for Tom Nook and his ambitions, it comes to time for actual island festivities. He lights the bonfire as his sacrifice to capitalism and we all clap, of course. And after that, he decides that it's time to name our island, where our actual next dynamic of the hard mode comes in, because our island name has to be randomly generated. I did randomly generate the island name. I did screenshot it so that it can be revealed in the dramatic matter right when he asks us to name the island. So here you go. And the randomized name is Sunstead, which I thought was really cool because I Googled it to just figure out what that means. Um, what is the meaning, if anything else is called that way. And uh, Google says that it is an old timey word for solstice, which I thought was really nice. 
And uh, yeah, I just stuck with it. I randomized it for a while, but as soon as I got Sunstead, I just decided to stay on it. I thought it was a great name. It just keeps some, gives me some warmth when I say it. I thought it was great. And uh, of course, Tom Nook had to do a vote to pretend that it's actually a democracy and not just some sort of capitalistic nightmare. And uh, yeah, everybody clapped, as they say. Everybody voted for me, of course. And uh, you know what? It's all rigged. It's all rigged. Nothing is fair but the villagers are none the wiser. They're just having their orange juice, they're enjoying the party, and I did not want to spoil it for them to just tell them what's actually going on and what are my suspicions about the silent are, but we just had some cheers and moved along with our day. So I did not want to spoil the party for my villagers. You see how happy they are. And you know, Tom Nook definitely trick them into believing this is some sort of socialist paradise, but I knew better. I did ask him to provide me with a bed. He gave me a sleeping cot, is that what it's called? And I went along my way. I just wanted to just stop pretending, do not, do not ruin the party for my villagers with my red lip agenda. <laughs> oh, am I going too far? I don't know. Am I? and just go towards my tent. I didn't enjoy the walk on my island though. Look how amazingly beautiful my island is with the oranges and the moonlight. It's just so nice. But it was time to go to bed to start a new day and to proceed with our hard mode. I went into my tent and I decided to check what my furniture was. I had a pink radio some sort of a blue dark blue dark greenish type of lantern and uh, my cod surprisingly was not a camel color as it always is it was blue which I liked and I decided to just go to sleep and forget this whole experience and start anew the next day because you know when you're in doubt just go to bed you will feel better in the morning I thought I could rest my head for a little bit, but I was wrong, of course, because who would have woken me up other than Tom Nook with his shenanigans? He was right there next to my tent being creepy, just waking me up, and uh, yeah, he just wanted to give me a Nook phone, you know, just to indoctrinate me into his system. But you know what? Right after that, what he gave me, I just look. He gives me a phone, he's like all nonchalant, and then he gives me a bill. And you know what? It's very interesting how nobody, nobody at this island was warned that we will get a bill after all of the services that we got. Because villagers also talk about the fact that they didn't know that they will need bells. They did not know. Pashmina told me just recently that she was surprised that she will need bells and now she has to figure out how to make them. So it kind of seems like a big scam that Tom Nook is running. You know, he does provide interest-free loans, but he also provides some sort of paradise packages where you go there and then he's like, you have to pay me. And not only that, you have to build all of the buildings, craft all of the furniture, just be a builder, just be a carpenter, be a welder, everything. And he doesn't say you that in advance, which is incredibly suspicious. You know what I mean? I tried not to focus on the negative and, uh, you know, I just was happy that I set up my tent. I got my goals set up and everything and I just went on with my day. I needed to do a bulletin post that I am doing hard mode, which I did. And right after that, I decided to design a custom design because I only have to wear those and I will do a design for you right now. Since this was my first custom design ever, I thought I will do something simplistic but yet effective. And you know what? I, I do paint, I do digital art, but Animal Crossing 
pixel design freaking broke me. It is difficult, guys. Like, if one of you is one of those talented creators that does it, uh, I am admiring you so much because it is so difficult. I decided to go for this candy corn design, which I thought is just going to be great. I actually just looked up different patterns on just Google. And I saw a person doing a lavender design and it was these like little lavender buds there and they were kind of three colored pieces as well. So I was thinking what can I do that is three colored and similar shape to kind of mimic their design but also do it my own. And I thought that candy corn <laughs> is what I'm going for. And I love yellow and orange, so I thought it's going to be perfect. And uh, you know what? I'm actually kind of proud of this design. And I'm trying it on. Look at that. Look at this one. Like, it's not so bad. I am actually so impressed with myself. I don't even know. I can't wait for me to get a pro design license so I can actually design sweaters and I can design dresses. I don't even know what I will create, but there is a possibility that I will create a complete piece of poop, but we will see. And now that I was on my way to my new life, I had my first flimsy fishing rod. I decided to, you know, grind some fishing because that is what I will need to do a museum. I caught a bunch of fish. I was so excited to get bladders on my island and just start filling up my museum. I'm thinking just because of how economy is stunted in the game, I will do a lot of fishing and bug catching. And so I think I probably will fill up my museum much faster than I usually do. Because after a while on my islands, I just focus more on, um, you know, decorating and don't focus that much on the museum itself. I updated my passport took a photo, updated my comment, and uh, come up with a title for myself from just the limited, limited possibilities that I had at the time. I just wanted to let people know that I'm playing hard mode, of course, <laughs> even in my title. I thought it would be convenient. So usually my title is always uh, mistakenly caught fish, but on this one, I didn't have that yet. So I went with photogenic mama. I thought it was good, you know. <laughs> so I proceeded further to figure out what I should do. I had Blather's tent already unlocked. Tom Nook gave it to me after all my tryhards for fishing. And I placed it here at first, which was just right in front of the tree. Again, did not want to do this because I know that I won't be able to chop it down for some time. So I just placed it a little bit closer to the beach. I thought it would be fine for my first try. But you know what I didn't realize is how close the tent actually is to the airport. I just thought that I had more place, but I'm so unfamiliar with this map at this point that I did not expect it. Let me realize how close it is to the airport right here. <laughs> this is crazy. So close. But you know, we will just roll with it. We will be able to move it. There are no rules about moving buildings like this in the hard mode rules which is thank God. So I decided to also separate this beach into two parts where one part I will put all of the sea creatures, um, like all the fish, and on the other part I will put all the bugs just because I, these are all duplicates, not the ones that I will donate to Blathers. These are all the ones that will be waiting for CJ and Flick when they get to my island. And... Um, my god, I don't even know how much will that be. I never focused on when they came to my island before. And uh, <laughs> just right now, I, I think I think I will be making so much money. I know it's a part of a hard mode that you have to wait and you don't have the immediate gratification of selling the fish to Nook Twins so that you can do it later. But they also buy it for more, right? Isn't that gonna make us just make more money? I cleared up a plot to plant my new freshly given to me by Tom Nook windflowers next to my tent. Um, I do like windflowers a lot to be honest. Um, my flower here is a hyacinth but um, they're very nice. I don't know. Um, I just recently bred my first 
purple bent flower on my previous island. Those are so beautiful. So I'm definitely going to aim to breed some purple ones in, on this island as well. And uh, I collected a bunch of weeds because I am still looking for um, a recipe for a leaf umbrella. You know one of your villagers, they give it to you and I was thinking I will get it. And uh, unfortunately wasps caught me first. I remember that I have to get stung just for an achievement and to get a medicine recipe. So I did get stung. Unfortunately, as you can see, both of my villagers are still fishing and just refuse to talk to me. I went to find Pashmina. I usually always look for sisterly villager because I feel like sisterly will have a pity on me and give me a recipe. They're both busy. busy. They don't care that <laughs> I have only one good eye. So I wanted to push through. I thought I will just kill time with some of my chores while my villagers are fishing so that I can get a recipe for a medicine. Um, started to catch some of my first bugs. As you see, I'm not as successful <laughs> at catching this one little butterfly, um, but I did it, you know. I wanted a leaf umbrella recipe because uh, you're not allowed to sell weeds to anybody but a leaf in this hard mode. So I wanted to get uh, the recipe so I can craft a bunch of leaf umbrellas and sell them to Nook because that's allowed. And Lyman was finally not fishing. His reaction was great, like, ew. <laughs> Maybe you're going for a new look, but it seems a little bit... <laughs> He's so funny, I don't know. But he was kind enough to actually give me a medicine recipe which I was really happy about because now I cannot, I can be not afraid to be stung by bees anymore. He's so adorable. Look at his face. His eyebrows are amazing. I really love his character. He's so nice. And his like little word bubble is the same color as him. And it's just such a unique color, I feel like. Do you know other villagers that are this color? Oh, I really like his pattern and everything. So I was finally able to get my recipe, learn it, and heal my bad little eye. <laughs> it didn't take me long to craft the medicine and I also crafted an axe so I could go and start collecting wood. Um, I decided to talk to Lyman again because I just can't get enough of this little guy. And you know what? He gave me a little hat finally. I was thinking what kind of hat I will have. And he gave me a denim cap, which was black. It's not really my style, but you know what? As for the first hat, it's still good. It's still good. Thank you, Lyman. It was pretty. Um, I think I was going for more of a sporty style during this first day. I also crafted one of my first decorations for the islands, which are log stakes and birdhouse. And I decided to plot them just next to my tent. That's what I usually always do. I decorate around my tent first and only then I proceed to decorate around my villagers houses. So I thought this was so nice and neat. Even though I don't know how to customize it yet, this rustic feel is still very nice, you know. I was finally also able to craft my watering can and water my first flowers one by one because, you know, you know the drill with the first watering can, no mass watering at all so <laughs> it takes forever to actually water any of your flowers which is fine this is the start of the game and it has its own cuteness i continued stockpiling my bugs and my fish on the beach just filling it up bit by bit for a uh, flick and cj to come here and it's actually kind of really cool because i feel like with this method not only that you will sell all of your fish and bugs for more money, you will also be able to order, um, you know, the models so much easier because you will have so many of the duplicates of the fish and the bugs that you don't have to go and frantically catch them. I decided to pressure Pashmina into giving me the leaf umbrella recipe. I tried pushing her, it did not work, <laughs> so... I reserved to actually hitting her with my net. I'm so sorry. I feel bad, but I needed the freaking recipe. <laughs> and I did it. It actually worked. <laughs> she was kind of happy to see me, even though I smacked her with a net on the head. And she did 
<laughs> she did give me the recipe for a leaf umbrella, which I was really happy about because I can finally, finally start making bells. So I did not really want to spend wood on crafting stuff that I will sell because as you know later I will need the wood uh, and the iron nuggets to uh, to donate them to create the, the actual nook shop which was one of my goals and I did not want to waste them. So I went on to craft a bunch of leaf umbrellas to sell them to Timmy or Tommy. Which one is this one? Who are you? Timmy. To sell them to Timmy. <laughs> and it's actually a pretty good one because it, uh, it sells for double of what the materials are. It's actually really nice. I sold them for 2400 bells, which is great. My goal was to buy a barbecue from Timmy and it was actually quite enough money for it. Just enough, actually. <laughs> uh, I also looked at what else he has. The director's chair, I'm not that fan of, but I wanted to see what he has uh, flower-wise. I was not that impressed, but I knew that I will need a slingshot recipe and I will need the DIY for the beginners uh, recipes. And uh, so I proceeded to go and grind some more and get some weeds uh, to sell more stuff. And um, I was getting my miles. Guys, look at that amount. It's really close. <laughs> and while I was doing it, I also noticed that I just crossed the threshold for 5,000 miles, which means I'm able to move out of my tent. I got it so quickly. I was so focused on just getting my stuff and getting my start going. I didn't even notice how I got all the miles, which is, you know, so lucky. Of course, Tom Nook, with his passive aggressiveness about how the tent is treating me, look at him smirking into his hand. Like, I can't believe this guy, honestly. What is he even thinking? So, of course, he convinced me to build a house. I'm so nervous about how I'm going to pay off my first loan using these rules, but I feel like it's going to be so interesting to try to earn all the bells. Um, so of course I went for it. I asked him to build me a home. And um, he only asks you what kind of roof you want. As you know, that's the only customization you get with your first home. And I really like color yellow, so I decided to go for a yellow roof. And you know what? Maybe this island should also have like an accent color, like my Gooseberry Island had a blue accent color. Maybe this one I should do an orange or a yellow type of accent color. And it's called Sunstead to make it super sunny, you know, with this warm colors. I thought maybe that would be a good idea. Obviously, I will think about it a little bit further when I actually have more items to put as decorations. So far, it's way too early to think about any of that. Um, this is my homemade of recipe how to <laughs> hit the rock when you don't have a shovel because you have to block, block your way so you're able to actually hit it. And my first rock turned out to be a money rock. So lucky, although Whenever I hit it with an axe instead of a shovel, I never get the last one. I think I'm doing it too slowly. Now that I made enough bells to my liking for this day, I decided to craft a little bit more of my hay beds now, because now I could do them. And it's the fastest way to sell weeds, because you can craft with 20 uh, pieces of weeds and uh, I made a little bit more money <laughs> and I decided that it's time to go shopping for the last time for this day to buy some stuff from actual nook stop and redeem some of my miles for all the goodies that I will need for my game some quality of life upgrades and stuff you know <laughs> I really, really like to get them in the beginning of the game. It's just so satisfying. It's like a great achievement for me, it feels like, to get those. So at first I went shopping. I didn't have too many cool things in my shop that day. Um, now that I don't buy shirts, it's very unusual because I don't need any tops. I will be designing them myself. But I did found uh, this 
uh, object for a Japanese holiday, Hinamatsuri. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong. I had to look it up online because it looks so unique and so interesting. I have never seen it on anybody's islands before. And it turns out that it is for a doll's day or girl's day that is celebrated in Japan on Ma- March 3rd every year. And this platform is a very traditional one and it's made of, to display these dolls that represent an emperor and empress and their musicians and their court and um, everything just looks so beautiful. So I decided that I definitely need one. I've never seen it before that anyone used it on their island. So definitely bought it. I'm excited to see how it actually looks and what size it is. Is it small? Is it huge? <laughs> we'll see further. Then I went back to clothes shopping and I decided to get, um, oh, and object shopping. And I decided to get these pair of pants. I decided to get a hat, even though also not really a style that I'm usually going for in my hat choices. But you know, it's something fun, something good. And I got this outdoor air conditioner. Never really used it on my island before, but maybe I will on this one. We will experiment, you know, we will see. And finally, I got to redeeming my Nook Miles, which is the most exciting part. You know what, Island Life 101, I refuse to get it on this island for the first time because I don't really need the tips. And now I see that Tom Nook is freaking charging 400 miles for it if you want to get it. So he gives it to you for free, but if you refuse it, it's 400 miles. Can you believe this freaking raccoon? Definitely in, in his type, his style of behavior. So, of course, I'm getting a tool ring. It is a must have. It's such a quality of life update. You have to have it. And I keep pressing this button, the up button, to open the tool ring all the time. And it's not opening. <laughs> it's definitely more difficult to play that way when you have to dig through your bag to access any of your tools, you know? And uh, even though I do uh, organize my bag most of the time, that everything is on the top row, so it's easy to find it. But I need my tool ring, you know. Everyone does do it. I don't know. Are you buying this as a first update? Because I always do. And I got a custom um, designs pro license, so I can design my first dress tomorrow when I play. <laughs> I don't know, should I design a sweater? Because see Timmy and Tommy and Tom Nook, they're still wearing pretty kind of warm clothes. Because I guess it's still February and I'm the one with my arms exposed as if, I mean, I'm playing as a Canadian, I guess, because I'm in Northern Hemisphere. <laughs> but I did want to do it. Maybe I will design a sweater. That could be cute. Or some sort of a coat. Not even sure. And the last thing that I wanted to get, because I had a few more miles left, I always, always buy a yellow uh, bandana, like a Nook Ink bandana. It is my favorite one, because it's also yellow and orange, and I think it will even fit with this design of candy corns <laughs> for me. And it's one of my favorite ever headwears. It's something that I wear for a long time until I get the hats that I really like. And usually you get those when you get Able Sisters, so I knew that I won't be getting it for a while. And I wanted some nice bright clothes. So I guess I'm going to be designing stuff with yellow as well <laughs> for a long time, you know. After that, I was completely done shopping um, for today. I thought I won't probably do anything else. The last thing on my daily quests were to plant two flowers. I decided to plant three, so it is like an even patch of flowers. I planted them, I watered them, and after that, I was absolutely done. It such an it didn't even take me that long to do all the, you know, two times the miles quests. And they were very interesting to do because I never really focused on doing all of them. And now doing it it's nice. I, I will definitely be enjoying doing all of them and doing the stretch every time I'm the worst at doing the stretch. Oh, I actually had to plant three flowers. I didn't even know. <laughs> but at this point, I was done. Everything for today is done. So I will just show you <laughs> what I stockpiled through this entire time of grinding my uh, 
bugs and my fish. I already, I feel like, went overboard. I can't even imagine how much I will have by the time CJ and Flick are on my island. I'm so excited for them to come and for me to become rich because of all of this. So I hope you enjoy this day on my island. Um, enjoyed watching me participate in hard mode. Let me know if you're also playing our hard mode. If you want to connect and play together, also let me know. Look at my huge stockpile ready for blathers. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, if you like this video, please press like. Um, comment something, so, uh, some of your suggestion, what you liked, what you didn't like. I really appreciate all of you commenting. This is very sweet. And I will see you in my next video on day two of hard mode. Bye!